are going to learn division by two digit divisor so we can do some examples first one 456 divided by 13 so so we can write like this here 13 as divisor 456 as 13 as divisor 456 as dividend so if you don't know the table 13 okay if you know the table 13 it is easy to do we study only up to 10 uh, try to learn that uh, study the table up to 15 it is very useful to do the division okay so those are finished studying up to 10 you try to learn up to 15 also up to 15 table it is easy to do the division and all okay so here first we can do 13 here the first number is 4 is smaller than 13 so we take these two numbers 45 then you multiply and find out the answer if you studied the table it is easy otherwise you multiply you assume some numbers and find out the answer so first you can write 13 into you can assume 2 then you find out the answer 3 into 2 is 6 2 ones are 2 26 so 13 2 is 26 so 26 smaller than 45 then you take 13 into 3 3 into 3 is 9 3 ones are 3 39 okay 39 also smaller than 45 then you multiply 13 into 4 4 threes are 12 4 ones are 4 5 so here 13 into 4 is 52 it is bigger than 45 so we take which number we take 13 into 3 equal to 39 okay so we can write here 13 into 3 3 into 13 is equal to 39 then you subtract these numbers that is 9 after 10 11 12 13 14 15 so here 15 minus 9 is 6 then here this 6 also we can write here down so 6 then you find out how many times 13 goes to 66 then you can multiply here 13 into 4 is 52 already find out then you can multiply 13 into 5 5 3 is 15 1 5 1 is 5 65 so we can write here 65 is this near that 66 so we can write here 65 so 5 into 13 is equal to 65 so we can write here 5 into 13 is equal to 65 then 66 minus 65 what is the answer 1 so remainder is 1 and quotient is 35 okay using that formula you can uh, you can uh, teach one division rule using rule you can check the answer is correct or not okay so here in this question quotient is 35 and remainder is 1 one more question 2750 divided by 72 so here 72 is less than 2 is less than 72 so we take which number 27 27 is also less than 72 so you take this three numbers 275 then you find out the answer that is 72 into can take assume 3 and find out the answer 3 twos are 6 7 threes are 21 so here 275 here we got 216 so we can find out 72 into 4 4 twos are 8 7 fours are 28 so here 72 into 4 is 288 it is bigger than 275 so we take which number this number 72 into 3 so we write 3 into 72 equal to 216 then you subtract these numbers okay so here 15 here we will take 1 here 6 15 minus 6 is 9 then here will be 6 6 minus 1 5 okay then you take 2 minus 2 is 0. Then here this 0 you can write here 590. Then you find out how many times 72 goes to 590. That also you say multiplication you find out the answer. So we can multiply 72 into 
here we already said five, 4 so we can 6 we can do 6 twos are 12 6 6 7 six are 42 42 plus 1 43 432 that also smaller than 590 then we can check using 7 here 7 to 2 is 14 balance 1 7 7 is 49 plus 1 50 504 so here 504 is also smaller than 590 then we check which number 72 into 8 so we can check 72 into 8 72 and 8 is 576. So 590 is smaller than 576. If you take uh, 7, it is which number? 504 only. So we take 576. Okay. Then we can write here 576. That is 72 into 8. Then you subtract. 10 minus 6 is. 4 8 minus 7 is 1 so here the remainder is 14 and quotient is 38 okay we can do the textbook question first one 900 divided by 12 900 divided by 12 so here you want to find out how many times 12 goes to 90 so you assume some numbers and find out the answer okay so can simply you multiply 12 into 5 you assume 5 then you find out the answer 5 twos are 10 then balance 1 5 ones are 5 60 so 60 is smaller than 90 then you take 12 into uh, here 5 6 7 7 twos are 14 balance 1 7 ones are 7 8 84 so here 84 is also less than 90 then you can check this way you want to check then find out the answer 12 into 8 8 twos are 16 balance 1 8 ones are 8 96 so here 12 into 8 is 96 12 into 7 is 84 so which number we take we take the smaller number 84 here 96 bigger than 90 so we take 84 so we write here 7 7 and 12 is equal to 84 then you subtract that is here 0 we take 1 from here 10 minus 4 is 6 then you write this 6 0 here 60 then you find out how many times 12 goes to 60 so we already find out 5 into 12 equal to 60 so here we write 5 into 12 equal to 60 here the remainder is 0. Okay. So the quotient is 75. So the here answer is 75. Okay. Quotient is answer. Okay. One more question. We can do D question. 7225 divided by 85. So here 85 is divisor. And dividend 7225. So you check the first number. First number 7 is less than 85 so we take 72 72 also less than 84 you take three numbers 722 then you find out how many times 75 goes to 722 okay so you, you assume some numbers and find out the answer so simply you assume 85 into 5 5 5s are 25 2 8 5s are 40 and 42 so here 85 into 5 is 425. So here 722. Then we can write 85 into here you write 5, 425. So we can write 7. 7 into 5 is 35. 3, 7, 8s are 56 plus 3, 59. So 595. That also smaller than 722. Then you can take 85 into 9. This way you check the and using multiplication. Okay. 85 into 9. 9 fives are 45. Then 4 balance. 9 8s are 72 plus 4 76. So here 
85 into 9 equal to 765. This is bigger than this number. Then once you find out the answer, how will you find out? Next you can find out 85 into, here 9 is bigger number. So you take 8. 8 5 is 44. 8 8 is 64 plus 4 68. So 68 is smaller than 722. 680. Okay. So here 595 is 7. 8. If you multiply 8, 680. If it is 9, is 765. This bigger number. So we take this number. 85 into 8. So 85 into 8. 85 into 8. What is the answer? 680. Then you subtract 2 minus 0, 2. Here take 1 here 12, 12 minus 8 is 4. Then 425. Then you already find out here 85 into 5 is equal to 425. So we can write here 85 into 5 into 85 equal to 425. So here the answer is. A design so 85 is quotient okay so 85 we can write the answer the cost of one dozen banana is rupees 36 then what is the cost of one banana also calculate the cost of five banana so using steps you can find out the answer let's then find out the answer cost of one dozen banana equal to 36 rupees so we already studied one dozen means how many 12 Okay, so the cost of one dozen banana is 30. That means the cost of 12 banana is how many rupees? 36 rupees. Okay, so then what is the in the question? Find out the cost of one banana. So next steps we can write the cost of one cost of one banana equal to 36 divided by 12. Okay, then using multiplication you can find out the answer. 36 divided by 12 that is here using multiplication you can find out the answer that is 12 into 3 12 into 3 is 3 2 sir 6 3 1 sir 3 36 so 12 3 into 12 is equal to 36 so here we get 3 rupees okay the cost of one banana equal to 3 rupees so in the question you want to find the cost of 5 bananas so cost of 5 bananas equal to that is 5 into 1 banana 3 rupees. So 5 into 3 is equal to 15 rupees. Okay. So the cost of 5 bananas is equal to 15 rupees. If two numbers is 945. If one number is 927, find the other number. So the product you already studied product means what? The product of two numbers is 945. If one number is 27, so if one if you now get any number, one number is 27, then you find out the other number. So how will you find out? If you uh, get this type of question, you want to divide this number. So how will you find out the answer? 945 divided by 27. You get this answer. Okay. Next third one. The cost of 48 packets of erasers is 720 rupees. Calculate the cost of one packet of erasers. So, the cost of 48 packets of erasers is 720. 48 packets cost 720. So, find out the cost of one packet. One packet, how will you find out? 720 divided by 48. Using division, you can find out the answer. Okay. 